as a salesperson or a sales manager, what is the type of person that I should stay away from because they're going to cause problems? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Orlando, Florida on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about business. So here's the thing. You know, I get to work with inside companies. I help them hire. And, you know, people will come to me and say, hey, Scott, let me look at this person and tell me if you think they're going to be a good fit. And one of the things that I do is I take a look and I look at the resume. And if they've been in a sales position and they're switching jobs roughly every four to six months in sales, I got like an instant thing going on in my head that makes me go, there's a lot of problems here. So first, let's talk about the sales manager. You're going to have to work with this person. They're going to ask for help. They're going to want a lot of help. They're going to eat up a whole bunch of time. They're going to not ever do anything that you train. They're not going to implement. They're never going to step outside of their comfort zone. As the salesperson, if you're a salesperson watching, you need to be scared of this person because what they'll do is they will suck up your time. They will be, you will be the shoulder that they cry on and they will never get any work done. They're going to drag you down. And when you hang out with this person, you're going to look like you're their cohort. You're going to look like you're the person who they're associating with and it's going to make you look bad. And so if you're asking this person, well, tell me where you worked. Well, I worked at XYZ company. I worked at one, two, three. Like the question you should be is like, why are you not there now? Tell me what happened. Well, you know, it really just didn't work out. And this is usually about the gist of what they say. It really didn't work out. Okay. Well, I get that once, but like if the consistent answer is it really didn't work out, this is a dangerous salesperson to be around. This is a dangerous salesperson to hire because what's going to happen is they're going to get hired. They're going to go through the sales process. They're going to eat up a bunch of sales training time, and then they're going to get put out in the field. They're going to eat up leads. They're going to eat up cost of leads. They're going to drag the numbers down to the sales team. The sales team's going to look around and go, I could have closed that deal. Why did you hire that slug? Right? And then they're going to say, Hey, salesperson work with this guy or sales trainer work with this guy. And it's a total waste of resources. So the, the salesperson that consistently jumps from sales job to sales job to sales job, what they're doing that for is they're hiding. They're hiding and saying, hey, look, I'm going to try to get the training. The training is going to pay me X amount of dollars. I'm going to be okay for a couple of months, and then I'm going to have to be able to prove what I do. No, it hardly ever works out. Now, I will tell you there's some people out there that are just looking for the right product to sell. You know, they might have worked at like two maybe three companies. And recently I saw a job interview where a guy in the last six years has worked for 14 places trying to do sales. I looked at it and I'm like, no, do not even bother to interview this guy. Don't even talk to him. Wrong guy to talk to because all he's going to do is just not only eat up resources of the management, he's going to hurt the nerves of the salespeople because in the sales meeting, that guy's going to get all the attention. Why aren't you selling? What's going on? And he's going to be like, well, I just don't know what's wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. And I promise you, I promise you, if you're in an office right now and you got your headphones on, there's a guy over there or a girl over there, and that's them. That's them. So if you work with somebody like this, put it in the box down below. Don't name any names. I don't want any legal issues. But just say like, yeah, I've worked with somebody like this or I've worked with somebody like that. And, you know, it's definitely an issue and it causes a problem. If the person who's coming to your office, if you're a sales manager and they keep bouncing from job to job to job, it's a sign you shouldn't hire them. If you're a salesperson and you're looking around and this person's bouncing from job to job to job, it's a sign you should stay away from. They could probably be like the nicest person in the world. They could probably be the best barbecuer in the world. They could probably throw the best parties in the world. But as a salesperson, they're going to drag you down and it's going to destroy your numbers. And you just, it's just a bunch of sales sabotage. Stay away from them. Stay away, right? Have them go work for your competition. That's the better thing to do. There you go. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button and click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says Scott Bell Consultant sent out a video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Aloha.